the African American Women in Cinema Education Series. I'm your host, Roger Maloney, CEO of UFront Media. This series is presented by UFront Media, uh, which is a company designed to curate um, content um, for new content creators of color. And thank you for joining us today. The African American uh, Women in Series Educational Series will take place every last Friday of the month. And you can find us and I'll give you more information about our next series um, at www.aawic.org, okay? That's aawic.org. But today, we have a special guest. Drum roll, please. Miss <laughs> um, Stephanie Lawrence. She is a has performed on stage in films intentionally as a stage actress, Miss Richard... Ms. Stephanie Lawrence later uh, made her transition into film. Acting has always been her passion. Mm -hmm. Stephanie has been committed to developing her acting skills in college where she was accepted to Advert University in Virginia for the theater arts and speech. While attending Advert, Stephanie auditioned and was accepted into NYU University's Tisch School of the Arts. Not bad, Stephanie, not bad. (laughs) It is also was at Tish with Stephanie and Lee Strasberg. Stephanie Bloom as an actress and a director. And um, after Stephanie and I uh, do a quick Q and A, and if you guys have any questions for Stephanie, you please free feel free to do so. Um, Stephanie, how you doing? I'm do- I'm great. I'm so blessed. Doing well. So Stephanie, how are you? I'm good. My first question. Good. My first question for you, Stephanie, is everybody wants to be an actor. Everybody loves movies. Everybody loves films. People close their eyes and wish they were Denzel Washington. They wish they were Angelina Jolie. Yes. And uh, my, my question, first question to you is what, um, what inspired you to become an actress and who are some of the role models you looked up to? Wow. Well, wow. I, you know, I don't know, you know, uh, how people are drawn to things, industry. Um, I guess my best example, Roger, is I once heard um, a pastor say, a minister say, there are people who save the whales and they have this passion to go out and raise money and, you know, um, and everybody doesn't have that calling. So I think it's, it's a natural um, a calling almost, you know, it's like a drawing, something that draws you to it. And um, I, I will say that my great aunt and my mother um, both, uh, you know, are no longer with us, but they are with us in spirit. Um, both, they took me to theater, my sister and I, to a lot of theater, uh, Broadway shows, um, local theater. And I guess maybe that's where I initially got the bug. And all day Saturday in ballet and music and um, all day, you know, the weekend was all about performing arts. So I, I would say that. Um, your second question, who inspires me? Um, we just lost Cicely Tyson. Um, I actually walked on a stage at a performance years ago where she was standing there doing a tech rehearsal. And amazing, it's like when I think about the encounters I've had um, and then look back on them, I was very young. Uh, but when I look back on that, it was, it was the bicentennial, it was some kind of um, July 4th, big event, theatrical event in Philadelphia. And she was one of the performers, um, a number of artists. But I remember seeing her, I was so close to Cicely Tyson. And, um, you know, I have also, um, uh, well, that's another story for another day (laughs) when you guys uh, check back with me later. But Cicely Tyson definitely uh, is a wonderful role model for me. And there's so many others. Um, I love Barbara Streisand's work. Um, I think she's an amazing uh, performer and director. Um, and uh, Regina King, I, I'm just, what she's doing as a performer as an, and a director to me is amazing. Um, there's so many, I can't, you know, but definitely. I love Regina King's um, movie, One Night in Miami. That was amazing on Amazon. Wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that something? That ensemble work was incredible. It worked. The ensemble work, yes. And um, I was in, very impressed with the young man who played Malcolm X. I was like, wow, that's a never angle on Malcolm X we haven't seen. Before. Absolutely. The a whole black- dynamic, all of it. The dynamics right. of all of them. Yeah, the whole ensemble. And Stephanie, before you get started, a sidebar, could you have imagined if Malcolm X had an Axe Sam Cook? 
hey man, could you fund my movement since you you figured out the music industry? I mean, you had Jim Brown there, and you yes. also had um wow. Muhammad Ali there. What an amazing yes. thing that would have been. That would have been truly amazing, and you know, it would have put a twist in history too. You know, I, I mean, right? Yeah, wow. But I think that shows the importance of art, of performing arts. What Regina King did with that movie shows it's so valuable because it actually provided another perspective of history that we often don't know. I mean, we don't know all of the history and we're, I feel like I'm learning so much. And a lot of it is through the arts. Yeah. Well, well, uh, my second question before you get started with your presentation, how, what advice and how did you handle the pandemic being a, um, a professional question. actor and, and how did that affect what you move forward in doing in terms of roles and just getting yourself prepared? Um, so, yes, I, I believe, you know, it's been an awful um, uh, chain of events. But I believe, you know, at some point the decision needed to be made that, well, personally, I'll speak for myself. The decision, and I've spoken with other people I work with, and I think we have that common ground. The decision has to be made at some point. You're going to use this time wisely. And you're going to either come out of it and be the same as you were when, you went, when, when the pandemic started, or you're going to come out of it and be, you know, have grown. There should be some development. You, like, we should not come out on the other side of the pandemic and be the same person we were in the beginning of the pandemic. So I, you know, within myself and, and um, you know, I, I'm a, I believe in prayer, you know, just connecting with our creator who I, you know, I just believe that um, <laughs> at some point a decision had to be made. And I started taking online classes. I started co getting coached, um, some coaches that I've always wanted to work with on an ongoing basis, but because of time, I was not allowed to. And all of, even um, where I was trained, uh, physically, uh, Lee Strasberg started online classes. So anyone around the world who in the past would not be able to go into the studio could now go into the studio wow. virtually. So yes. And I started taking, um, well, I've, I've taken African dance class, Roger, but now my part of my keeping my instrument strong is African dance. And I do that at least three times a week online. Wow. You do African yeah. dance three times a week. Wow. Yeah. And it's just fun. You know, it's more fun than doing the weights and <laughs> yeah. So Stephanie, we're going to um, open up your uh, amazing presentation about acting one-on-one. -on -one. If you could give us a brief intro while I pull up your presentation and sure, sure. we could get started with your amazing workshop. Okay. Um, and I will try to keep it scaled back a bit. But basically, I'll welcome you to this workshop. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining me. Um, it's such a privilege and an honor to be a part of this uh, with uh, African-American Women in Cinema and the educational series. Um, I'm really grateful for this opportunity, first of all. Um, I just a bit about me, uh, as Roger shared, I early on knew I wanted to act. Um, I did, you know, children's theater, uh, high school, but then I went on and did theater in college. Um, I knew that somehow, I think I read Lee Strasberg's book, that I wanted my acting to come from a place of inner strength. And so what I want to share with you is, I know a lot of people I've spoken with and worked with, because I have been rehearsing virtually. Um, some people want to do acting, they have a passion for it, but they feel stuck. And if you're feeling stuck, uh, if you're feeling stuck, you know, I think I have uh, a little bit of help for you. Uh, and I'll share a little briefly, you know, if you're feeling stuck, stuck, I have a few golden nuggets for you today. Okay. Um, you know, that old saying, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, the same old thinking will get you the very same results. And at some point you have to, you have to make a change. And so that, yes. So this shows, uh, you know, I went to Lee Strasberg. Uh, the Tisch School of Arts has a program for anybody who has young person who's interested in theater and acting. The Tisch School of the Arts has a acting program where you can decide what you'd like to do and then you audition and they ultimately put you 
where, you know, where you're going to be. And I wanted to be in Strasbourg. I wanted to do method acting. And when I auditioned, they actually placed me there. Um, so yes, and I went on uh, to grad school to do arts management. That's the Drexel logo um, and did an internship at the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts. So I'll share more about that as we go along. Um, okay, okay, there we are. So if you're feeling stuck, guys, you might feel like that turtle. You might feel like, oh no, not again. You know, I'm, I'm here, I'm stuck. I can't flip back over to get moving again. And when I saw that turtle, I said, oh my goodness, I know I've been there, you know? So I have some ideas for you to help you. Um, and, and we can keep going through that, yes. The same old results will get the same old uh, things, the same old uh, whatever you've been doing. If you continue to do it that way, you will get the same results. So what I want you to do is decide today to make a change. Decide to jump in. It is time for change. If you want to act and you have not started yet, it is time for change. Jump in with both feet. Go all in. And, you know, I've made the transition focusing now on film, whereas before I was doing mostly theater. So if I'm going to do this thing, then I have to be all in. I have to do self tapes, which is the way, and I'll get back to that. But uh, you have to be all in, you have to be committed. You have to embrace new daily habits. You have to keep your instrument tuned. Your instrument is your body. It's your vocal, your vocal cords, your body, your voice. Physically, you should be in shape. Find ways of developing yourself. It is essential. Change is essential. So as I mentioned, one of the ways that you can uh, fine tune your instrument is taking an African dance class online. We can do that now. Um, I, when the weather was nicer, I was doing what I call prayer walks. I would take long hikes and that was very refreshing for me. We need our vitamin D. Um, take online vocal classes. Also, I am uh, doing some voiceover, online voiceover. There are many different things we can do right now that we couldn't even do in the past, you know? Um, in the past, we had to physically go into a building, physically go into a place. Um, I'm, you know, looking at some of the people I'm in touch with who are in Europe, and they've been desiring to come to Strasbourg. They can now take a class online. So stay active, fine tune, jump all in, connect with other actors. That's number three. Take an online class, number two. Connect with other actors, other creators. You want to be engaged with other like-minded people. You want iron sharpens iron. So you wanna be with people who are not pulling you down and saying, oh no, that's ridiculous. You know, go do something practical. Surround yourself with people of like mind, okay? Yes, so this is acting classes and techniques. There are many techniques in acting. Stanislavski method, the classical method, method acting, of course, is Lee Strasberg, the Meisner technique, Uta Hagen's technique. There are several different uh, acting techniques. And of course, I shared with you guys already, um, I studied with Strasberg, which is considered method acting. And I want to just share with you a bit, uh, what is that next slide? Is that next slide, uh, Roger, about the alumni or the definition of method acting? There he is. Okay, so Lee Strasberg, um, he started uh, the Lee Strasberg Institute for Theater Arts and Film. And there are two locations, uh, to my knowledge, if, when I was there, it's the West and the East. I studied, of course, the East location uh, over on Union Square Park in New York City um, all day long, I think from eight in the morning until six at night. Um, it's all day. <laughs> so it's very intense training. And it really was a blessing to me. It shaped who I am, I can say that it really helped to shape who I am. Method acting, um, the method as developed by Lee Strasberg was a means for training an actor to achieve this type of truly moving performance infused with a vibrant inner life. It gives the actor a vibrant inner life. And that is his definition. If you go to the website, you'll see that. The dictionary's definition of method acting is a technique of acting in which an actor inspires, to complete emotional identification with a part, which is a character that you're playing, based on the system evolved by the Stanislavski method. Okay, and that was brought to the US in 1930. So there are a number of fellow alums who you guys may know. I'm sure many of you love them. Um, and you, you may not know that they are method actors, that they actually studied at Strasbourg. 
Um, I did not study with Strasbourg. So I wanna clarify that. Um, he passed about eight years prior to my getting to the Strasbourg Institute. But I studied at the time, the only people who could teach the Lee Strasberg, the method, were students who actually studied directly under him, the first generation. So these, uh, Marilyn Monroe studied with Lee Strasberg. She's a notable alum. James Baldwin, of course. Um, you know, those actors who were around when Lee Strasberg was around studied directly with him. Um, Chandra Rhimes, who I love from Grey's Anatomy, and uh, Angelina Jolie, John Voight. Um, Lady Gaga, uh, uh, jo uh, Scarlett Johansson, Sissy Space, like all these wonderful, wonderful Rosario Dawson actors studied at the Lee Strasberg Institute. Okay, so um, you guys may look at them and say, I love their work. Their work is so amazing. Uh, but the reality is they work hard. They practice and they really work hard. So it's important to embrace new habits, which I share, to grow as an actor. You want to embrace new habits. And um, I think I shared a little bit about that. You want to take some classes. You want to be aware of your senses. You want to fine tune your instrument, which is your body again, your vocal cords. Learn how, maybe take a class in speaking, in public speaking. Take a dance class, lift some weights, take a vocal class. Fine tune your instrument, okay? Learn how to breathe from your diaphragm, all right? Um, there are some exercises that will help you to fine tune, uh, become more aware as an actor. And that is what I want to share with you today. The senses, the five senses. This is something that I even teach young people in drama classes. The five senses, touch, smell, taste, see, and hear. Those we can practice enhancing our five senses. We can do that on a daily basis. In fact, I would encourage you to do that on a daily basis. I would encourage you to spend some time, commit to enhancing, focusing your touch, sense of touch, your sense of smell, your sense of hearing and seeing. Do that like 15 to 30 minutes a day. Just spend a little bit of time each day looking and listening and actually smelling, taking the time to be present and being aware of what you're smelling, of what you're seeing, of what you're tasting, really taste it, be present in that moment. This will enhance you. It will grow you for acting. Believe it or not, it will. There are a few other exercises um, while at Strasbourg. Uh, and if you ever uh, study with me, these will be exercises that I would actually start you out on. Uh, they are fundamental. And one, the most important thing, I see the apples there. Thank you, Roger. The most important thing is relaxation. The method teaches us to relax. You cannot take on a new character unless you're totally relaxed. Unless Stephanie is totally relaxed, I cannot take on another character. So that is a large part of acting. You wanna learn how to relax your shoulders, relax your neck, relax your body, you know, and breathe from your diaphragm and breathe for relaxation. You wanna do all of those things. That's all a part of becoming a good actor. So the apples are on the screen because I asked you all to bring a round fruit, like an apple or an orange or a mango. And right now, if you have that fruit in your hand, just quickly, I'm gonna share something with you. And this is a, a real good golden nugget, it's a gift. Feel that apple, if you have an apple, feel it. It's rather smooth, feel the core, close your eyes. If you have an orange, feel the bumples, the bumples, the bubbly outer exterior of that orange. Close your eyes and just feel all around the orange. Lift that orange and that apple up to your nose and actually inhale, smell. What do they smell like? If you have an apple, you can actually, you can bite into the apple, you know? If you have an orange, you don't might not want to peel that now. But a mango has a different shape than an apple or an orange. So really feel the shape of the mango, you know? So those are things that you can practice. Then you put that aside, put it aside and practice feeling it, the weight of it, the shape of it. Can you, re can you smell it without holding it? Can you actually imagine that it's in your hand? How, how heavy it is, how it feels, how it tastes? Pretend, it's not just pretend, but it's imagination, it's reliving the memory of that object. So that's an exercise that um, 
you know, I like to do um, in my classes just to enhance our senses. Um, there's another exercise called sunshine, um, which helps us to feel the sunshine. I do that with young people as well and adults. Feel the sunshine on your back, on your feet, a private moment. Recently in a coaching class, um, uh, an instructor, uh, someone who, you know, both I adore, Susan Batson, Carl Ford. Um, Carl Ford shared a private moment. He said one of the best private moments, you know, uh, he shared a video of one of my favorite actresses, who I didn't mention before, but she is indeed one of my favorite actresses, uh, Viola Davis. She, there's a video and the link is there. You could actually take that link and go to YouTube and watch this. It's called a private moment. A private moment is when we recreate our own private moment while we're acting. And um, if you continue to study with me, I'll share more about that later. Okay, um, but those are just exercises, but it's very important to develop your actor, learn who you are, because you're really, as an actor, you're taking your own personal experiences, your own journey, and then you're using that character, you're, you're, you're merging the two, actually. You're not putting on a fake face. You know, it's not about attitudes. I actually did perform in a virtual thing, a virtual uh, theatrical performance, and I was really kind of disappointed with my reactions because I feel like I lost um, my journey. I wanna, you wanna merge your journey, who you are. You don't wanna put on an attitude. You don't wanna put on a face. You don't wanna pretend. You want to merge your, your personal experiences with the actors. Those books that you see on the screen now are great resources. Uh, Lee Strasberg's book there and Uta Hagen's uh, Respect as well as Lee Strasberg's other, but Truth also by Susan Batson is phenomenal. All of those books are phenomenal resources if in fact you're interested in truly dedicating yourself to acting. Uh, I'll say this. Acting is practice, practice, practice. There is no perfection in acting. You know, most of the time you hear practice, practice makes perfect. There is no perfection in acting. It's practice, 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 and get deeper and deeper and deeper, you know, into your craft. So you fine tune your craft. That's what acting is. Auditions. So um, starting March 13th, uh, my group, we are reassembling and we're inviting others to join us. Others who are interested in acting, who have acted before and who have not performed professionally before. We're inviting you, in fact, to join us March 13th. Is that the right date? March 13th. Yes. Uh, it's a Saturday, I believe. And in that time, we're going to sharpen iron sharpens iron. We're going to sharpen each other. We're going to do scene work. We're going to run monologues. If you um, we're prepared with a monologue today. You will have that opportunity to run that monologue or the scenes that we posted. Um, you'll have an opportunity to do that. We will work together and we will grow together. So make sure that you um, uh, follow me at Stephanie Richards Lawrence on Instagram. Stephanie Richards Lawrence. Um, also keeping it raw with red. I, I'm a radio show host as well. But Either one of those, um, the at Stephanie Richards Lawrence on Instagram is where I tend to post more uh, uh, information about acting and directing or stephanierichardslawrence.com. Okay, reach out to me. We'd love to have you join us and grow with us in acting. First of all, Stephanie, that was amazing. Look, I have my notepad, right, and my pen. I made, I made a whole bunch of those. You, you guys thought I was playing. No, I was here taking some notes. That's great. When you see, okay, when right. you see me stepping in the next Denzel Washington film or the I next think Marvel so. film, that's right. I got my I notes. think so. <laughs> um, let's open it up to questions. Uh, sure. I want to know if Karen wanted to ask a quick question to you, Stephanie, after that amazing presentation. That Karen? Re that really was amazing. Thank you so Thank much you. for that. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I have any particular question. Um, well, actually, it's interesting. I didn't realize there were that many different methods for acting. Uh, I'm not an, I'm a, I'm a performance poet, so I'm not really an actress, actress. Okay. But I didn't realize there were so many different methods yes. of acting. So that was, that was really very, very interesting. And I wanted to, I wanted to ask about, I read recently where 
Lakeith, um, Lakeith Stanfield, who was in Black Judas and the Messiah, yes, saying that wonderful. he had to have counseling after doing that role. So I was just, I believe that. I was just wondering, you know, do you get so involved in a role that it kind of totally affects your life like that? Absolutely. Uh, yes, yes. Um, there's another role that I heard. Oh, I believe it was Monster. Um, uh, Charlize Ther Theron, I believe I heard that recently that when she played Monster, did you ever see Monster, the film? I did, she was wonderful in that. Amazing. I believe I heard recently that she um, stopped working for a couple of years after uh, to get it together. Um, and yeah, uh, yes, absolutely, I have. And, but I also believe that in a weird, in a strange, in an odd way, acting is sort of therapy. <laughs> it is a, a, a type of therapy um, right. because you're working out those things in yourself like as I'm training myself because I want to stay sharp I teach and I'm directing but I want to stay sharp as well you are unearthing things that you may have forgotten about as uh -huh. you connect with your inner self and you connect with the character you know you're bringing your experience to the character and the character's uh, life before the life of the character and your experience together so yes and my answer to your question is yes, but I do um, see, I know that that has happened to many actors and celebrities, yes. Well, thank you so much. That was a wonderful presentation. Thank you for joining us. Are you thinking of going into uh, acting? Are you thinking of taking classes I beyond know, today? You know, it was so interesting. It's, it's something that I think I will consider, yes. Well, I would love to stay in touch with you. Please do, um, you know, reach out to me, steph.writeprop at gmail or stephanierichardslawrence.com. And, um, you know, I believe um, uh, poetry is, you also, you're, there's performance in poetry, but there's also like an inner work. Does When you're doing poetry, don't you believe like you're coming out of yourself? You're leaving a lot of yourself on the table? Is that? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but I would love to stay in touch with you. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you. Karen, that was a great question. Um, we have a few more minutes left. And uh, Stephanie, do you have any final um, words of advice uh, for new actors or people who are not, you know, studying acting and they just want to make a, like a transition? Because a lot of people, you know, they're interested in what, what in the last few minutes we have left, what would you tell those individuals? I would tell them to go all in. I would tell them, don't hold back. I would say, uh, you know, um, time waits for no man or woman. Um, jump in both feet. And I would say, connect with, if it's not myself, connect with uh, a coach, get involved with a class. Most importantly, in any craft or any field, surround yourself with like-minded people, with people who are passionate as you are. Surround yourself with other creatives, you know? Um, but I would say definitely, definitely jump in. Don't wait any longer. Don't sit back and, and think about it. You know, as they say, be about it, do it. That's what that's what that's what that's what it's all about. It um, is. Stephanie, thank you so much. This was amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is Stephanie Lawrence. Thank um, you, Roger. My um, also want to salute uh, Tara Renee of the African American Women. Yes, Institute. Tara, she's wonderful. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing woman. Thank you, and Tara. I'm, I'm thank so you. Honored to be your guys' host for today. And um, for more information, please go and log on to www.africanamericanwomeninsinema.com. Please, um, I want to thank everybody for, for stopping by. Stephanie, thank you so much for that amazing Thank you. Thank you. Roger, do we have another second? Yes, go ahead. I want to uh, mention him, the film. I want to plug my film. It's coming out soon. We're working on it. So you guys um, stay tuned for more on him, the film. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. <laughs> How did I got <laughs> all my you. acting notes? You know I'm going to audition for a part. <laughs> Would love it. Thank you. <laughs> we'll have to get you in. 
All right, everybody, I want you guys to have a great evening, and this was amazing. So remember, every last Friday of the month, we're going to be having another special guest on the African American Education uh, Series. My name is Roger Maloney of Youthfront Media. Thank you guys so much. Karen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It was great. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Blessings. Blessings all. Blessings. <laughs>